Hello, this is Dr. Bruce Garber. I'm a specialist in male erectile dysfunction located in the Philadelphia area. In this short PowerPoint presentation, I wanted to give an overview and a review of the causes of male erectile dysfunction. Erectile dysfunction can be defined as the inability to either obtain or especially to sustain an adequate or rigid erection. It's a very common problem. We estimate that more than 30 million men in the United States suffer from some degree of erectile dysfunction. Now, why is it important to correct male erectile dysfunction? Well, there's a number of uh, reasons. First, let's talk about the psychological side. Men with erectile dysfunction get anxious, they get depressed, they get discouraged, they lose their confidence, they lose their sense of well-being and sense of esteem. So there's a tremendous psychological side to this. Uh, conversely, when you correct the erectile dysfunction, you can correct a lot of the psychological aspects so that men feel much better about themselves afterwards. In addition, men with erectile dysfunction frequently develop scar tissue within their erection chambers. This scar tissue can cause penile shrinkage. So if you can correct this problem before it becomes too advanced, you can tend to avoid some of the penile shrinkage that men will frequently report. Now we know that uh, erectile dysfunction is highly undertreated. Maybe only 10% of men are coming in and are receiving effective treatment. We're now trying to change this. We're trying to let men know that treatment is available for virtually every single man with erectile dysfunction. You just have to find the appropriate specialist and go in and get treated. Now, in order to understand why erections don't work properly, you need to understand how normal erections actually occur. Normal erections require functioning of the nervous system, the hormone system, the blood flow or vascular system, and the penile erectile mechanism. Of course, when an erection is needed, there's a signal that comes from the brain and it travels down the spinal cord. Once it leaves the spinal cord, it's conducted via nerves, and these nerves run in the pelvis, and they conduct the signal out to the penis. Now, these nerves run and are attached to the prostate gland, and that is why when men develop prostate problems, for example, when they develop prostate cancer or have prostate surgery or radiation, these nerves can get injured or damaged, and men will frequently need help for erectile dysfunction under those circumstances. Now, when the signal arrives at the penis, you have to understand how the penis works. And the penis is a reasonably complicated organ. This diagram shows a cross-section. Of course, on the bottom, there's the urination tube, or urethra. That runs along the bottom. But there are two erection chambers, one on the right and one on the left almost like a double barrel shotgun configuration. When an erection is needed, uh, the signal uh, causes a biochemical cascade. A number of biochemical reactions happen. And the end result of those biochemical reactions is as follows. Blood has to come rapidly flowing through the arteries into those two erection chambers. And in addition, the veins have to shut off to keep the blood in those two erection chambers. So you can imagine if there's not enough blood flowing in or if the veins are leaky and don't keep the blood in the two erection chambers, you're going to end up with a weak erection. Now we know some of the biochemistry behind normal erections and by, some, uh, by studying these biochemical reactions we've been able to come up with some treatments which can improve the quality of a man's erection. Uh, many times, but not all the time. Now, what are the specific causes of erectile dysfunction? Well, there's a lot of them. I put some of them on this slide, but I could really not fit them all on. The most frequent problems that we see are things such as high blood pressure, elevated cholesterol, 
diabetes, men who have been cigarette smokers, men who've had heart problems, coronary artery disease, heart attacks, that type of thing. Uh, men who have had surgery in their pelvis or surgery on their prostate. All these things can interfere with the normal functioning of arteries, veins, and nerves that are required for a good erection. Peroni's disease is an interesting problem. Peroni's disease indicates that there is scar tissue on the erection chambers. Peroni's can cause weak erections, it can cause pain with erection, and most characteristically, it can cause curvature, penile curvature during erection. In any event, that's a brief overview of the causes of male erectile dysfunction. I wanted to thank you for your attention. In the next video, we're going to review the diagnostic strategy for erectile dysfunction. And for those of you who want more information, uh, a good place to go is my website at garber-online.com. On that website, I have a tremendous amount of information, including photos, video, YouTube, animation, publications, a tremendous amount of information if you'd like to look into this, uh, this uh, topic further.